Hey friends, it's Brian and it's time for HVAC number 14. We're going to work on the air handler. In number 13, I sealed up the exterior penetrations from the inside with some foam and uh, revisited the mini split line set and sealed it with some uh, low expansion foam. And then I put in the ductwork for the kitchen exhaust fan. Yeah, finally. Um, at any rate, what we're going to do is work on the air handler today and I'm going to mount the filter housing to it so I can keep using my media filter. I'm so impressed with what the media filter was able to do for the old unit that I want to keep using it. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So you may find it hard to believe, but this coil was in the Goodman unit for seven years and it is clean as a whistle. So if you have any doubts about what a media filter does, here is the answer. I mean, you can see some dust. It, it really was in production. And you can see some rust from where they used some, some uh, ferrous screws. But man, this, this is one of the cleanest coils I've ever seen as an inspector. And I'm kind of proud that it was in my house. But because this coil is spotless, and I don't know what this is, that, that came with it from the factory. But because this coil is spotless, I'm gonna keep using the media filter because it clearly works and works well. So here's the media filter housing that I took off in an earlier video. That is the energy recovery ventilator uh, cover, which I don't usually run. And uh, it normally lives in there, but because I'm working in there, I pulled it out so it wouldn't get destroyed. Now it comes with this filter. They think this is enough to protect the unit. You know, maybe I should just use it. But I know the media filter works and works well, and it's done a great job of controlling the dust in the house. These don't work so bad, but they're not gonna catch all the dust. So I went and I looked, and the media filter is by far considered to be the best alternative this thing's 160 pounds or so. There's a reason I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. So, now that it's up on top of here, that's the bottom. This is the service side. So we're gonna turn it the way it would actually get used. And then we're gonna set this up here. That's the bottom. And then this just goes up here. And I'm pretty sure if we set it right there, we can seal both sides and call this a day. Yep. So yeah, I think that's exactly how it needs to go. Um, I'm gonna need an extension for my drill, so let me go get that. So normally I have the temptation to buy a box of screws and this time I didn't do it because well, you know, screws have also gotten expensive. So what I did is I bought some inexpensive screws. Man, these don't look like they're self-tapping. Oh, damn it, Home Depot. Well, let's see if we can make them self-tapping. So I gotta get some out. what I want to know is, are, is it a 5 16th head? It is. All right. So now I'm going to try and put one in and just see if it works. It does. Good. I was afraid these were not gonna work because they're technically not self-tapping. So now I'm gonna move you guys over and then you guys can watch how I do this. All right. So, and I'm only doing this one screw at a time. I'm not in a huge rush. I am using the existing screw holes where I can. So I'm gonna come down here to this side. First thing I wanna do is make sure this is as square as I can get it. Now 
because it will simplify my life if this is square and I'm, I'm hanging up on the screws that are built into this case. All right, that looks like it there. catch it on fire but I don't think I can actually it's not self-tapping all right so let me switch sides and see if I can get this to work up here to that is probably not that really makes me mad that I did not buy self tapping screws let me see if I can find some well it's a miracle I found the box with the self tapping screws that I used last time And, you know, there's only like 30 of them in here, but that will be more than enough to do what I need to do. So let's come back here and we're going to go in the corner. Piece of cake. It's amazing when you have a self tapping screw, what a difference it makes. So that's plenty. I can't use the sides like I did last time because this ACIQ unit's a weird size. So let me back the camera up. Okay, so I've got this flashing here, which is intended to seal this up and I need to reattach it and I need to reattach it carefully um, because I've got a coil in this area too. So I'm gonna reattach it to the uh there's there's a cover here and we're just gonna bolt into the cover um, first though we're gonna come up and bolt into this and this will take a lot of the pressure off of it we'll do this on the other side And then we want to get a little closer on the left side. Um, this is kind of where it took the brunt of being pulled off. I really need a hammer, which I don't think I have up here. Put three of these in here. Okay, so that looks pretty nice. One problem it's probably not going to seal because, well, there's no mastic and no tape on it. So that's next. But it starts with a good solid mechanical 
And for whatever reason, this is better than you're going to see in most places because most people aren't going to take the time to bend the sheetrock or they're not going to address little hangouts like this. This stuff takes time. Time is money. And most of these guys get paid by the job. So the faster they get it done, the more they make. Now I can see some areas where it's a little ugly, so I'm gonna put some more screws in. All right. And we're overhanging an access panel, which I don't really like, but I don't need to get in there. <laughs> At this point, I don't need to get in there. So at that point, we're pretty much done screwing around. Ha ha. Yeah, so now I need to find the um, foil tape. And we're gonna tape it up. So the mastic will help all of this to bond and stay bonded, which is what it did for the last seven years. The mastic works, it just has to be installed. The foil is the meat, the mastic is the potatoes. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna dress the corners to get a little bit better seal there because this is a problem area where you're gonna find a leak on a lot of units if you were to look for it. And it may not be very pretty, but again, we're gonna go over this with Mastic and our objective is to get a good seal here. And unlike almost every HVC tech, I have a two and a half thousand dollar thermal camera that I can actually check it with. Uh, problem is, that's really only good on the pressure side. Although it will show, if you could block it off, you could find suction inlets. You just, you need a temperature gradient in order for thermal to do its thing. So here I'm going to overlap because I'm going to wrap around it. bit more up there. Now 
And what we're working on here is we've got some holes from the previous screws. So we're just, don't need that much tape, but we're just gonna go ahead and seal across it. And then we've got a similar thing going on up here where there's a little separation of the metal. This is much easier to work on when it's out here. So now what we got to do is we got to we got to dress up these corners. It's kind of interesting. There's a cap running around here, and I don't remember doing anything with it last time. But I'm going to do something with it in about three seconds here. I don't know if this, oh yeah, I see light through there. So yeah, this is a gap and it does need to be sealed. And I'll pick all this paper up when I'm done. This is essentially aluminum foil with adhesive on it. Well, and I got the bottom of it. That's just so odd that I would have missed this, the back and the top. But it is what it is. I'm sorry, this is probably not very interesting from that angle, but you know, I shoot these videos from the perspective of you hang out and watch me work. So we're staying true to that form today. Now I have to refit the ductwork because this is a different size uh, takeoff on this unit. And that is gonna be a pain in the ass, but otherwise I honestly could be done today. Uh, the package with the 10 foot line set that I need to steal parts off of I, I need a few feet of 5 eighths and 3 eighths, and nobody will sell me less than 50 feet of it locally, and I don't trust what Home Depot sells. I think the Home Depot stuff is, well, if they can cut a corner, they will. That's the nicest way to put it. All right, so we've got all this put together. Now, let me go get the mastic because we need to we need to do some painting and it's much easier to do it in here. So I want to show you, I've saved the foam from this and I'm using it as a work tray. I paid, I think $3 a box for these gloves in 2017. They're a lot more expensive now. And I doubt it's because the factory costs went up. 
with COVID, they think they've got a gold mine. And quite frankly, they kind of do. <clears throat> yep, yep, same stuff. So I like to apply this with a chip brush. And quite frankly, just goop it on. The thicker, the better. Uh, this stuff is now $38 a bucket, which is just under a gallon. That is outrageous. I would have bought a quart if I could have bought it because I really don't think I need more than that. But whatever, here we are. My point is don't scrimp on this because once you open a bucket, it's pretty much ruined. It'll eventually dry itself out. So this will work its way into all the little cracks and it'll seal it up. It's gonna get a couple coats of this. So this is the first coat and then I'll go over it again because again, I can't really do anything with the bucket of it once it's opened, except use it. Okay. Now this side I can get once it's installed, but you know, it's just as easy to get it now while I've got the can open and the brush out. <sighs> it hurts my hands.
So one of the advantages to doing this myself is that I can take my time on stuff like this. HVAC guy wants to get in, get out, be done in a day. Whereas, you know, this is, this is dragging on like several weeks now. And that's okay. I mean, you know, I'm not motivated by profit. I'm motivated by doing it right. And the cleanliness of the other coil tells me, yes, I did it right. So I think that's all I can do in here for now. Okay, so I'm gonna goop a little bit more of this on here because I can. All right, so let me get rid of this. 